is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest fixes OS and here you can see the Android version section here on top we have the Pixis OS logo right there and the version of this Pixis OS is 4.0.2 this is a gapps included variant official build of course there are two separate versions for this Pixis OS one includes the gapps one is without the gapps and if you want to flash like the gapps included version you can simply flash it by just watching this video from the card right there and if you want to flash the without gapps version then you just need to flash a separate gapps like a nano version the better thing i would say would be going with the gapps included version which i do most of the time this is the 14th december 2020 build of this pixis os and the android version of course is android 11 as you can see from here because this is the latest version the security patch is of december 5th 2020 so yes latest security patch that you are getting over here and the azure perf kernel is the stock kernel then you can see the build date again december 14th 2020 and here we have the build number and currently if you want to look at the notes of this pixels version as you can see it says firmware not included so if you're not on the latest firmware you might have to flash it separately so you just press the firmware then the rom and you just reboot if your storage is decrypted and here we have the s linux status as enforcing and there are the two separate versions of course the vanilla and the gfs version vanilla is about 848 mb and the gfs included version is about 1.4 gb now first let me show you the stock launcher this is how it looks like and this is actually let me show you the pixis os launcher so if you are noticing in the app info as you can see this is a pixis launcher let me go back and go to the home and here is how it looks like the stock wallpaper looks pretty cool has this pixis os kind of big logo if you are noticing this and to the left we have this google's discover page and swipe up gets you to the app drawer but you cannot simply disable this app suggestions panel which is kind of disappointing for me let me go into the settings of the stock launcher as you can see we have the notification dots add icons to home screen home screen rotation show google app option is there you can disable it if you want to then show gradient on top is there show gradient on bottom is there but nothing else but the good thing is there is a like double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen as you can see works flawlessly let me tap the fingerprint scanner so that i can show you the fingerprint scanner speed too and as you can see it unlocks right away and the fingerprint scanner is very reliable i would say and yeah it unlocks very very fast without any issues as you are noticing let me try with my right hand's index finger unlocked now let's try again and still unlocked so yeah pretty fast and reliable fingerprint scanner no issues that i could find over here with a fingerprint scanner at least and on the stock launcher swiping down anywhere of course gets you to the quick settings panel and the widgets as you can see are working fine without any issues now let's talk about the stock camera here we have the basic like old google camera and yeah this is a pretty basic camera as you are noticing yes the front camera and stuff does work but if you will notice as you can see this is a pretty basic camera and yeah you might not like it that much so that is why i've installed the newer version of the gcam and here let me show you with this gcam it is actually working fine and i of course took a selfie with it so it also works for selfies of course so yeah this gcam is fine if you want to take normal selfies there is the portrait mode and stuff as you can see you can use it if you want to i don't know if the face retouching would work with this but it may not night sight and stuff is there there is also this 2x zoom over here this is just a digital kind of zoom i would say so yeah this also works and i'll link this google camera below in the description so do check it out and yes i have installed this camera separately now talking about the quick settings panel this is how it looks like and as you can see you can add a couple of toggles over here let me show you there is a speak notification this is for heads up disabling option i guess and there is some more things but here let me actually show you if i disable this peak notification so yeah you can disable heads up by disabling this peak notification and there is the screen recorder this is the android 11 screen recorder of course and there is the device audio and microphone audio both recording at the same time option you can use it if you want to definitely and there is the like other things let me show you over here like dark theme and stuff this works super fine with the dark theme i have used it with the dark theme works great no issues there is night light and stuff then torch auto rotate hotspot etc everything is there 
Now let me jump into the settings here is how the settings panel looks like and in the settings panel you will not find any kind of separate customization section yet and here in the system panel let me show you and I would say in Pixis ways I think there is no uh, like separate kind of customization panel but it is hidden in every like display security and lock screen etc options. Now in the system panel again in the updater section you can check for updates from here as you can see this is a pretty cool updater and it shows the Pixis OS updater logo up there and it shows like last checked when so yeah that's pretty cool and it shows the current build it says 13 December here and the maintainers names are there Nishan Singh and Panchajan Sharkar I would say both of them have done a really great job once again and here in the like systems we have the gestures and here is how like the customizations that you get in the system navigation gestures we have this gesture navigation and if you go into the settings you can expand the size of the gesture bar as you can see gesture bar length I have increased it to the long and right now the gesture bar is quite long if you're noticing on the bottom so yeah you can change the size of it and there is also the two and three button navigations too if you want to use that and there is the swipe deck screenshot as you can see you can take a screenshot just by swiping as you can see you can share it or edit and delete it if you want to however you want so yeah this works flawlessly then you can go to the power menu and here we have actually the advanced reboot so you can enable the advanced reboot from here there is also the sensitive content and device controls let me actually show you the power menu this is how it looks like we also get the smart home controls if you have some smart lights you can have these over here and if you tap on restart right now when there is the advanced reboot enabled as you can see i can directly reboot to system or recovery so that's cool and if you like tap the three dots you will find this bootloader option or you can directly reboot to fast boot from there as you can see and of course there is also this quickly open camera option by double tapping the power button and the like prevent ringing option is there and other than that the default keyboard is google keyboard of course and let me show you in the battery settings this is how it looks like and battery percentage option is there you can enable it if you want to and it just like enables the battery percentage on the status bar so that's cool and the battery temperature shows up on the bottom then we have the screen on time and if you tap here you will see the full battery usage and i would say in terms of battery life it should be pretty good you can get eight hours of screen on time pretty much with this rom and 18 hour fast charging also works super fine without any issues and thermal profiles are there you can set per app thermals then we have the battery saver of course and extreme battery saver and stuff is there then adaptive or auto kind of battery management you can enable it of course it is enabled by default let me go back to the display here is how it looks like and pretty basic like display settings here we have the night light option and you can enable it and change the intensity of the night light if you want to have like the display too much yellowish you can do that and inside styles and wallpapers let me show you this is how it looks like you can like change the themes over here and you can set a custom one as you can see with the uh, accent colors and stuff plethora of accent colors are there let me show you even like if you go back and here in the bottom there are the accent color options which i'll show you later on but first in the styles and wallpapers we have these wallpapers too let me show you one by one as you can see this is how it looks like there is this come alive section you can have these live wallpapers of course then we have this living universe too. you can download and install these wallpapers there is also this the mandalorian like kind of wallpapers then we have captured on pixel wallpapers lot of wallpapers with this google's wallpaper app pretty much huge collection of wallpapers are there by default now in the grid settings of course you can change the grid settings to up to like six by seven over here if you want to have that you can now if you scroll down we have the lock screen settings from where you can get this always show time and info which is basically the always on display you can have that but i cannot simply find the option to always unlock with the figment scanner that option is kind of missing right now there is a double tap to wake if you want to have this the double tap to wake actually works super fine let me show you by okay so there is no double tap to sleep on the status bar so i have to double tap on the home and as you can see the double tap to wake actually does work on the like lock screen so that's great and in the dark theme you can of course schedule it if you want to and inside accent colors you can see plethora of options are there you can choose from ios blue then this aquamarine green ocean everything else is there a lot of accent color presets are there so you can choose from that then we have the primary color and you can choose it to one plus dark ocean or the device default then we have the headline and body fonts and again 
plethora of body fonts are there including oneplus slate google sans google sans lado and stuff like that then we have this Rubik and Comic Sans etc fonts are there. Then inside icon shapes, as you can see, plethora of icon shapes are also there. Then we have also the icon packs. Now inside sound settings, if you scroll down, there is the screenshot sound disabling option. Then dial pad tones etc disabling option. Then media, do not disturb everything else is there over here. But let me show you there is no me audio direct because violet parts, it's, it's just missing from here. So no me audio direct right now over here I would say and if you scroll down we have the security option here we have the fingerprint and face unlock option is there let me actually set up the face unlock okay so I had to enable these two things unlocking your phone and skip lock screen both from here to actually use this I guess let me just double tap on the home screen and as you can see the face unlock actually works without any issues so yeah the face unlock and fingerprint both are working over here but you have to enable the face unlock settings from the like security settings so yeah after you add your face make sure you enable those but with this as you can see the face unlock working flawlessly but yes the customizations are not too much and there is no app lock or something so yeah, that might be kind of a disappointing thing for you. But yeah, in this like launcher, there's some cool things like you can search for the apps over here directly and you can like pull them to your home screen if you want to. So that's pretty great. And in terms of performance, I would say it is doing good. And I'm not gonna show you the RAM management every time. This RAM management is pretty much similar to other custom ROMs. And here at the end to end give me a score of this ROM. And if you're wondering about the DRM info or the wideband security level, that is L1 over here. So that means you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime in 1080p without any issues. And the safety net test passes. So that means you can use banking apps like Google Pay right out of the box. You do not need any magic hide or something to use banking apps on this particular ROM. And with this LED RGB remote app, I have tested the IR Bluster over here. As you can see, it is blinking. So that means the IR Bluster actually works fine. So yeah. IR Blaster has no issues on this ROM and also you can do one thing you can just swipe up from the corners and as you can see it shows this kind of glow over here and the Google Assistant actually works fine without any issues. Let me show you one more time as you can see you can swipe up and it shows this colorful animation over here and it detects whatever you are saying like this. So this looks pretty cool in my opinion. So yes this ROM the Pixis OS does not have that much amount of customization but the amount which are present are pretty much good enough to daily drive with on this ROM, I would say. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends if you feel like. And subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one.